Um, hey guys, so this is Steve again uh, for Virtual Realm, um, an up-and-coming Facebook social group blog forum thing. Anyway, um, I'm here showing another Halo Reach map that I created. Um, this is actually one of the fi my favorite maps that I've, I've created. Um, it was actually uh, myself and a buddy of mine, Tim. Uh, really good guy, smart guy. Um, we really kind of became obsessed with Forge. Unfortunately, a little too late. Um, but uh, this is a map called Water Warfare, and um, you can play assault, you know, with bombs. You can do capture the flag. That's what it originally was made for. Um, you can do Slayer or Elimination, um, but you know, like most of my maps, this one definitely works best uh, around an objective. Um, again, capture the flag being the one that was ideal for this. So uh, we're just gonna get right to it. Um, we were one day sitting around and we were just bored, like, okay, what can we really do now to actually create something that has never been seen before, um, you know, in Forge, in, in our knowledge, you know, because it's been a lot of time, like, looking at maps and reading up, so uh, I had the idea to try and create something with water, and, uh, so you're like, oh, you know, it's water, well, you die when you hit the water, it's stupid. Well, uh, we actually kind of figured out something that uh, no one really ever seemed to utilize, uh, which, very simply, is um, you can make certain vehicles drivable on water, and I think this is the Revenant, which was taken out of Halo 4, unfortunately. Um, so. Uh, and with the clipping issues in that game, we've been unable to replicate this, and of course there's not even any kind of real water physics. So anyhow, um, we created uh, boats, essentially. Um, at least I think it looks like a boat, I think it feels like a boat. Um, and this is a really interesting Halo map. Um, you know, like a lot of my maps, you are playing in third person, which that's what makes it interesting. I guess whether or not they're good is, you know, kind of relative, but and, you know, you, you're playing primarily in the third person uh, as you're going from base to base and exploring the map since, you know, a majority of it's on water. Uh, so using the Revenant, you can actually shoot it and it makes all kinds of pretty splashes and it's, it's really nice. Uh, the water combat gets crazy when you're, you know, running from a Revenant or you're like, you know, rolling around, like shooting each other. Uh, I put these mines in the water, which they, they kind of helps uh, spruce things up a bit and uh, of course you've got the boost when you need to go fast and it's limited so I feel like this actually feels uh, like water. I hope you guys don't hear that long lawnmower that's going in the background um, but it feels like water, it feels like a boat and the objective you know primarily is to you know to capture the flag or assault um, so you know just to kind of show you what a run look like this is the base. I tried to keep them small and simple. Um, this is where your flag or where your bomb would be. Um, and then you've got your, you know, your capture point here. I mean, they're just right there. Um, you've got a few different weapons that, you know, make sense and that are logical. I feel like the power weapons are very much balanced. They're kind of like a one-time use per game, you know, like a desperate situation. Um, one of the cool things is that a buddy can get in the, the uh, passenger seat, you know, and I mean, you can really just have it out. Uh, there are game types I have set to where the, the flag carrier has to be passenger. That one's a little more difficult <laughs> to pull off sometimes if you don't have a good crew of people, but, um, you know, it's fun when you do. And, uh, so, yeah, you would run down, I know this is running a little long here, you, you'd run down, you'd hop in your boat, and, uh, you know, you would pick a path and drive straight across here. Um, the rocks, of course, offer good cover. And, you know, once you get over here, you would try and invade the base, take the flag, and then ride it back. So, uh, if you try and get out of the Revenant in the water, well, you die. <laughs> so, um, it's a little weird at first, but it feels very natural once you get used to it. It makes a lot of sense. I mean, really, considering that I don't think this is supposed to be possible in Forge. It works well enough. If you, so two on two is ideal. Um, 
you know, one-on-one -on -one works and it can be fun, but two and two is ideal. Uh, it, I think it's up to 4v4. Um, I created a weird section up here, so there's a green team with no objective, and they spawn up here if you so choose, and the green team has a couple of weapons and armor abilities um, at their disposal up here, but their goal is to just cause mayhem, you know, throwing bombs or trying to, like, steal the boats, and uh, there are jetpacks up here, so they kind of have to plan out and... This is for the friends who really don't care about the objective, or when you have an odd number of people, um, or the friends who just want to kill things. I mean, it's funny, they have unlimited life, and I fell in the water and died. So anyway, uh, I think that the green pirate team thing, it's kind of a fun idea. The few friends who have played it, uh, you know, a lot of them were like, I want to be green, I want to be the pirate, so. Uh, yeah, that's Water Warfare. Uh, return to Battlefield, and, you know, thank you guys for watching this video. And uh, please look forward to a few more. Uh, thank you.